Okay, so we found people who are going to stream their game. Let's go ahead and uh, see how this works. So we do have uh, we do have this right here, and let's uh, watch it out. We're gonna be watching some Mew V Max versus some Rapid Strike Dark. I'm also gonna turn off this sound because after watching enough PTC Geo games, it's uh, very interesting. So I don't know. How does everyone feel about this matchup? Is everyone excited about this one? Yeah, I like the way this matchup plays out. It's very interesting because I feel like a lot of the time it's 50-50 and it's just based off of like the draws and how they play the matchup and approach it. That's very true. That is not an ideal hand that uh, Picky is looking for. I'm sure he wants an energy to Technoblast with the Genesect at the moment. Who's Peke playing against? They're playing against uh, What an I've exciting no game. I've actually never, um, I don't know if Peke and Cookie have ever played before. It's a very, um, so it's a first here at the late night series, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> okay, well, Peke versus Cookie. I'll see if anyone else responded to see if they can stream, otherwise I'm going to assume that they cannot. Um, everyone Christian else... Cruz is in there. Okay, so we can't. got two players out of the eight that have remotely s responded. Um, well, I mean, no one's responded. We have two players out of the eight, but we are back here. And, uh, yeah, it, it should be a good one. So, I mean, I hope that for future reference, we get more people who stream playing the Late Night Series if you want your game featured. I mean, you're in front of an audience of over 11,000 um, YouTube subscribers. So that's kind of cool. I mean, not everyone has that chance for the stage, especially if you're uh, not necessarily in other H divisions. So, I mean, I think this matchup's kind of interesting. It's one of those ones where, like, Mew's supposed to be doing Mew things. I don't know about attacking with Genesect. I've actually never gone for this strategy before. I think attacking with Genesect is very cool. Yeah, especially on the three price turn. He was able to get a knockout here on the Moltres V, which is a very, very important threat to get rid of. Well, I mean, to be fair, I think if you're knocking at the Moltres V and your opponent didn't knock out the Mew Max, I think you're probably okay. Um, exactly. Although they go through a lot of resources, right? Like, they've gone through two catchers, they've gone through two bosses. Um, it, it, this game's kind of a little bit bizarre, but, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. I wonder if we're going to see these types of decks at Vancouver and Bremen Regionals. Um, if either of you two were playing at those events, what deck do you think you'd be playing? I really like the Mew deck. I think it's just so strong and so fast, and it's really evolving in the format with, like, catchers and stadium counts being lessened. But it's very interesting, for sure. Those Arceus decks are also very strong. Wait. If I, I'm not going to either of those, but if I was going, I would probably play something on the lines of, like, probably Arceus Corviknight Crobat deck. That's pretty cool. I think a lot of people want to play that deck, but similar to what happened at Salt Lake City Regionals, I don't think enough people know about that deck. Yeah, for sure. It's like it's under the radar, but uh. Well, it's also because um, I don't think I don't think Luke posted uh, their list either. Mm -mm. No, yet. but also um, I think Shumway played a s s not the same list me and Kruger and all them played, but Gabe played a similar list to an eight one finish day one. And what was his do? It, do, do, do we know his overall placing? What he ended up being top thirty two. Yeah, I think, I think they okay. kind of crash and burns. But uh, I don't think they posted their list. I don't think any of those. I don't think anyone playing the Corviknight deck posted their list. Yeah. So we're going to see Peke try and find a switch card. Just try and go the artillery. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess this I guess this is what we're going for. It seems like it seems like Cookie is stuck right now. Yeah. With their current hand. Someone ate their Cookie. He's going to want to find a boss <laughs> here and a way to retreat. Oh, oh, that's really good. That's a rope. Yeah. 
if he can kill that Urshifu, he just locks up the game. So that's definitely going to be what he's going for. It, but I think he might be out of ways to send it up other than one more catcher. Let's see. There is oh, one ball. boss left, actually. Boss. So it's possible. A cook ball, probably a Genesect or Milouetta here. Mm -hmm. A Genesect. Just fail this one and then draw some more cards for next turn. That's fair. Two more Genesects left. Let's see if he gets there. There that is a tablet good. and a tra train court and a cemetery and two passes. Cemetery is good, for sure. Let me just. Oh, we're gonna burn the tablet now. That's fair, I guess. Because we. I guess we're one shot of the Mew VMAX, so it doesn't matter. Ooh. Okay, well, there's the turbo for next turn. Okay, boom, Nog out. on the Drizzile. Peke uh, going to two prize cards left. Uh, you'll love to see it. It's one of those things where Peke is going uh, rapid strike hunting. This is also game one, I think, right? Like, I don't think we hopped in. Yeah. Yeah, I think we came in at a good time. Yeah, we're, this is just game one. For sure. We'll see if Cookie has anything to come back from this. But it doesn't look like he... I don't know if he does. Probably not, but we shall see. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, let's see what they do. You see they're, uh, they're winding that clock down. So I have to ask a question of both of you. Did anyone get any of the Astral Radiance set today? Not yet. I have... I got one pack and I traded it for two canceling colognes. <laughs> two canceling <laughs> colognes? Some... Sick. For a spicy I, uh, deck I'm trying to build. I was able to finish the Palkia V-Star deck full bling. How many packs did it cost you? 500. Oh, Good lord. I got the, I got the four... The, <laughs> yeah. I got the four full art... Uh, or the four alt art Palkia Vs. I got the three gold Palkia V-Stars. I got the gold <laughs> paths, the gold choice belts, the full art Roxanne. The deck's bumping. Okay, I'm really excited for the gold path, though. The gold path is just, like, flexing on your opponent. Like, I I'm actually surprised that there's no bling, bling players here. Um, I if I was playing in this tournament, I would have tried so hard to bling my deck out with the new cards. Because, like, Azul Radiance is illegal, but you could play, like, whatever arts and cards. We don't care. We don't see no difference. Mm -hmm. And it looks I like both these players that, uh, are bling, bling lords, too. Yeah, I was going to say, the Mew looks blinged out. I don't know if he has the choice <laughs> belts, though. Yeah, I don't know if they got the choice belts. They, they definitely do not have the gold double turbo energies. Tiss, 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 Peke. Maybe after today. <laughs> Actually, there's no Astral Radiance packs for pricing today because it just just came out. So that's next week. We'll, we'll get some juicy packs for everyone next week. So play in the late night series next week. Okay, so... It looks to be... There might be an out for uh, Peke to... Or not Peke, uh, Cookie to win here. Yeah, I think he's got a chance. Flow. The Cookie's not crumbling. <laughs> <laughs> We literally just attach Speaking about cookies to crumbling, and Calvin, are you going to be able to go to Vancouver? Yes. Did you I will to, be at Did Vancouver. you go to the DIMV? Yes. <laughs> are they, did they issue the enhanced license? Yes. It has been resolved. Amazing. The salty Steak not responding to me at all. The only person who's responded is All Out Blitzel and Jonathan Patricio Ch the only, is the only person streaming going to be... The only person streaming is going to be Peke. So, I mean, okay. GG Tour, if you're watching this, we 100 bajillion percent tried. Everyone watching, we appreciate everyone who always tunes in for these. Um, it's cool. It's lit. I'm really happy. I got myself an espresso, and Michelle bought me ice, and now I made ice, I made ice caramel macchiatos at home. I'm like a, I'm, I'm like a Starbucks. Mm -hmm. I went to Starbucks and it was closed, sadly. That sucks. I walked all the way there, like uh -oh. 20 minutes. I do not, think, I do not see a world That's that pays... Uh... Yeah, Cookie, no thanks. Cookie said no. I'll go first. Yep, so uh, they just got locked in the active spot and their opponent's just going to deck them out. 
So Peke went a little too uh, crazy on those draws early on, using a little bit too much resources. And uh, Cookie's going to be up a game. So we'll yeah. see how it goes. I don't know. Uh, that that one was huge. Yeah. I mean, that's what makes Rapid Strike a good deck, right? Like, you just have cool things and you make cool plays. and Always keep track of your resources as well. As he, as Peke literally burned three switching outs, like, really early, and it ended up costing him the game. Yeah, that's very accurate. Also, to anyone who's trying to, like, try to play a new cool deck, I very much enjoy this new um, Dialga V-Star deck. I played around with it for a little bit. That deck's kind of fire. Orion, I feel like you would like this deck because it features metal-type Pokemon. <laughs> like, I just think that that's like the first qualification. Um, just take a extra turn and then just smack for a bunch of damage. I didn't realize that a uh, little Diancy does damage, so you just sit there and poke a few times. And if the Al if you're ever able to just like go through like with the whole game with just a uh, Diancy, you're pretty chilling. The deck's cool. I like it. Hmm. Is it the new Broken Luke medal from two from two years ago? I mean, you do in the... I, <laughs> I, it's kind of weird. You just sit there and do nothing, and then you're like, I'm going to knock out this Pokemon, and then I'm going to knock out this Pokemon. And then you are then you just try to boss for the last one. So you go 2-2-2 two, two, two very easily. It's a very cool deck. It gets two thumbs up from Mr. Zack. I give it three thumbs ups then. If... Are you a big fan of the Palkia? Mark, Mark, you could poke me anytime. Hello, Mark. <laughs> I think the Palgia deck is very cool as well. I think all the decks are very cool. He's Hisuian Samurott to me was my least favorite deck, but I think my list is terrible right now. <laughs> I think that deck is busted. Like the card is busted. My list is not busted. Hmm. What other cards does everyone else think are cool out of the set? Because, like, right now, they're really, literally setting up. They're using a Peonia, like... They're using a Peonia! Whoa! <laughs> if they don't see an out or an energy, it might this be a might, this might This might potentially be a dog. We see it could be. Yep. I mean, if you're using... I don't know who has turn, time to use turn oh, one Peonia. Never mind. We're going to see... We're going to energy out of the Peonia. I really like the Dark Patch reprint. But I'm an OG. Dark like, Patch, so. definitely, definitely hot. I think that one's very cool. I'm not too sure how great Dark Rai is yet, but Dark Patch will be very good. I know that for sure. Yeah, Dark Patch, very nice card. Dark Rai, very cool card. You could Peonia me anytime, Zach. Jeez. <laughs> Mark, I feel like you're being a little graphic. But that's okay, because no one is serious. <laughs> We're just having fun. I feel like that attaching energies like that to just draw cards is the same issue that got Peke in their bad situation. Dark Rise a trap, but all the birds in the trap sing McKnight's, according to Travis Scott's, and we know how reputable they are. So, I I think that Dark Rise a very cool deck. I think I could win a League Cup with Dark Rise, but would I win a Regionals with Dark Rise? No. But, like, the simplicity of something like Darkrai, it's, it's so cool because, like, you just attach energies and you attack. Like, it's freeing. Like, it's Pokemon and it's pure, like... It, it's a beast, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe I just like lame decks. What do y'all think? <laughs> <laughs> I think Darkrai is... I think it's cool. I think it's good, but like I just don't know how better it is to waste your V Star attack on it than like an Arceus. Or even at that point, like maybe even the Palkia. Yeah, that's fair. Like I don't know. I also want to play to I wanna build Lilligan. Um I like I think I like Lilligan Zarud. I think Lilligan well, Welder has been proved to be very good. It's just, we got to see how it's going to work with being onto the bench instead of active. I think that's the only, like, problem other than that. I think uh, the Glass Welder is going to be very good. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, that was an that was an unfortunate draws for uh, Peke here. Yep, this is uh this is really unfortunate because we might just see the end of the stream if Peke loses here. <laughs> uh oh, and then, like oh no, Peke the with Avery. Avery. Avery's hi what's Avery hiding under that top hat? That's a big question. Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of Genesis waiting a uh, Genesis and a Melwood are waiting to be discarded, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, well, considering this game's going about as well as um I don't even have anything to compare it to. What are some other cool cards that we like? Do we think I know that somewhere out there nine card TCG thinks Bachamp V is a very attractive card, but do we think that it's good? I don't think so. Okay. What about the the Hisuian Sneezler V? There's 80 for each special energy. I have not even seen that card. 80 for each special energy on what? Like, go on both sides? One side? For which Hello? one? Sorry, it's for the attack the... Wait, what did you say? Is it for, like, like how this attack does like, 80 damage for each special condition affecting your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, special condition. I said special energy. My bad. I don't know. That'd be hot. I was like, wait, <laughs> that sounds broken. <laughs> no, it already does that. <laughs> Basically, for every fusion energy. But yeah. But uh, to answer your question, um, I could see it. There's enough like status conditions like like if you get modifiers. three you hit for two two forty for two it's not bad. Oh, I'm yeah. looking at the Dialga V's. I need to get those online. I or four or <laughs> I need to get the origin form Dialga V all parts <laughs> and the gold ones. I cry. Good thing I got more codes tomorrow. I think has. This is the the worst draws I think I've ever seen from Pete. He has not seen an Ultra Ball or a way to get me VMAX out yet. Oh, I mean, there's they, one. They, they've drawn a prize card. They've drawn a prize card, and it was like, it's a cram to look for something. Hopefully. But, I guess this is still fine, because it's not like you're not giving up three prizes, you're only giving up two. And the board looks... I guess the board isn't as bad as I thought. Yeah, you can't be terrible. Yeah. Also, the timer's a little bit off, everyone, so I'm just going to turn the timer off. There's a lot to go around here, and we were figuring out whatever we did not set up the timer, so that's okay. Okay, what other cards are good here? Mighty Yenna, I think, has some potential in, like, Zoroark 1 prize decks. Yeah, I like it. You can just pop up and be, like, burr. I've heard a lot of talk about Mill Tank as well. Mill tank seems very hot as long as people are not playing that one specific card. But I know I might be playing it in a couple right, decks. Cancel cologne. Can't cancel cologne. Yes. Yeah. I think Heatran V Max looks so derpy. <laughs> it, <laughs> it looks like a frog. I don't know why. It's just like I also want to build that Regigigas deck. That deck seems sweet. We're going to see a Moltres V come out, looks like. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a little early again, but I don't think Cookie cares about anything. They're just like, I'm a Dark-type deck. Let's go ham. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Cookie's going to draw a couple prize cards here, and if they're just able to follow this up with Geller and Moltres, that's, uh, that's legit. That's what's up. That's legitness. <laughs> <laughs> I also Indeed. really like the Radiant cards. I love them coming in. Oh, combat. Radiant Greninja is very, very insane. Yeah, I also Sunfield. like... I like the Weirdeer V a lot, because I think it's because I played a lot of those welder based decks. It reminds me of Heatran GX. Um, but, like, my favorite thing about it is just, like, that you could go, like... I'm thinking in an Arceus deck. Like, I'm thinking Arceus V-Star. You build up a bunch of energies in play. Swoop in with the Weirdeer V... And then go, ch um, what's it called? Uh, Cape of Toughness on this one. And then go, um, 
front, uh, then you just go Charon's Care and keep on looping these big, fat, weird ears with a bunch of energies. I don't know. I think it sounds kind of cool. For sure, for sure. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, I have Peke no is clue right what Peke is doing. Wait, oh, it looks like he's going to concede and uh, give the game up. 